Okay, today I'll tell you how to make a fake blood for movie. Um, why we make it at home? Because in many countries, let's say in all Southeast Asia, you cannot buy it just in the shop. Of course, you can order it online, but you need to wait uh, maybe one month. Even if a week time, we cannot wait because we need it right now. So we're going to the shop and buy all of the ingredients and come back to the set and make a fake blood. Usually for some things, Scene, we use a lot of blood, like full buckets of it. What makes scene looks really amazing, but um, I would say a really huge influence of uh, violence on the TV right now. But okay, what do we need? I think the best one, what uh, necessary consistency is uh, corn syrup. After we need a uh, red color food, what make a uh, uh, looks red, looks real, and we need a blue one because if you put red, it will be like too red. And of course, if you have a uh, shop where you can order fake blood, it's way more uh, convenient. Have two types: one you can eat, and another one not. So if you want to play on wires, you need to buy the right one. Uh, we use only food products, so it should be okay for that. And initially, we will take some uh, cocoa. Or just find some chemicals coffee. So basically it's made with a little bit maybe brown if you put it all. But if you put it more, it really looks like already a um, dried one. So it depends what kind of blood you need. And we mix it red and blue because for making good balance of the red. Otherwise it will look unreal. Also, if it's seen where everyone dead and a blood is dried already, it should be like more brown. So maybe you need a few types of blood for it. Uh, yeah, additionally, you can buy like in China or Russia some blood from the market, like real one from animals, but it not works well because it's getting dry like really quick. But you still can use it like for the scenes when everything like finished already. Okay, so we go to the shop and we try to make it at home as quick as possible. About uh, how much do you need or what? Usually we just put it, start to mix it and use the thicker distance and color what you want to get. Okay, let's go. Okay, we try a little bit for taste how it is. Also, you can use a transparent syrup, depending on how you're okay for the balance in the colors. Okay. Even like that, it looks quite good. Yeah, it's look like blood and if you take a transparent syrup it make it a little bit different but it's too red and I add the blue and I add more blue so almost natural color so I think it's enough red it's have a different type of red uh, it's like really really dark red have like a pink light red some people say they can use like potassium permanganate but basically I never tried 
and it's really difficult for balance and make a purple color. So if you want to kill an alien, you make it more purple. And for make it more brown, you want to have a coffee. It was really difficult to find the coffee with no sugar, everything full of sugar. And or chocolate powder. Basically both work well. So we put the coffee one, like a standard, standard option. Proportion, I cannot tell you proportion. I just add a little bit, a little bit, a little bit, and mix it and see how it looks like. So you can find like uh, cheapest shit chemical coffee. And smells. You know, smells quite nice, like candies. Still a bit too, too red. But maybe for fre fresh blood, can be okay. Mm. Tastes a bit strange. Usually you would never eat anything like that, but it's okay. Something like that, a bit more coffee. Make it a little bit more dark color. Probably you cannot see it on a camera. So basically a little bit, little bit. And okay, it's almost ready for the scene. Just need to wait a bit. It takes time until it gets melted. Just for experiment, I added chocolate powder. To see how it will be. Also, it's really not easy for mix it up uh, because it's less, actually, it's more solid than water. It's really easy to mix it in the water, but okay, I guess it's like a perfect color now. Only need to wait until the coffee will be transplanted. So now we can make a killing scene with a lot of blood. Maybe even a bit more coffee because it's still closer to water than to the blood. So syrup it shouldn't be like water, it's a bit more solid. So basically you can check how consistency looks like. Okay, so it's very quick, it took less than five minutes to do on the need prepare the ingredients so you can carry it if you know your set will have some steam with a lot of blood okay so now we can make a big bucket of it with lots of blood yeah and also you can eat it so if you decide to make some scene with the zombies or vampires Okay, yeah, another suggestion, when you add uh, uh, food color to the soup, add just a really, really little bit and afterward add a little bit more if it will be necessary. Otherwise, if you put it too much and uh, you put later on blood on a skin, so it might be uh, not really easy to wash it out. 